just finished reviewing the previous video. Again, I, I had already reviewed it to get a sense of where I'm going with this thing and to see what kind of description I'm going to write down. I haven't been you know, doing descriptions. I'm sure you noticed if you're looking at any of these. Uh, or yeah. where I left off talking about whether I was going to um, read the last chapter. I don't think I am. He didn't re really didn't even write a last chapter. He got very lazy at well. In all fairness, he gave us a two for it. Because, you know, the, the the thing starts out with with us in London. And the second part goes to uh, you know, a very rustic setting in America, right? So really got two stories for one. Then he got, kind of got sick of it and just <laughs> wrapped it up at the end. He like wasn't even trying to make a give it a proper ending. So, if you're going to read just one Doyle book, that that is the one to get. You get uh, the characters are all introduced. Their little quirks are all introduced. You know, all that kind of stuff. The relationship between the main characters you know, are introduced the whole bit. Uh, geez. It's been the last. Actually, I haven't. I've I've been doing the 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 Instacart thing. I actually ran out of time before I ran out of patience. Which is probably not going to be how it is for most. Oh, I got my uh, Instacart T-shirt today. <laughs> so yeah, ran out of time before I ran out of patience. Not by much though. You know, you you really do just develop as much patience as you absolutely need. So if you still have time to fill, um, you may want to stick with books that give you the uh, audio option as a backup. Because uh, especially if you're into this completion thing, if you like, yeah, you know, having the sense of completing of whatever project you started, right? So moments I did have to spare the last couple of days, I tried to formulate a kind of list, and now I don't know whether I'm trying to get a uh, uh, kick off a hobby or just formulating a summer list, reading list. Because it's certainly ending up that way. Uh, here's some scribbles. I, uh, I went to that Gutenheim website. My, they've gotten pretty big over the years, haven't they? Uh, gotten a lot of audio options as well. So I took special note of that. I also went to... Um, Spark notes, and apparently it's Barnes and Noble that sell these things, their products. So I went on their website and you know looked up how many Spark note books there are. It's well over 500, and I went through them, you know, just the titles. Misspent Youth. I knew what a lot of these titles were. And I don't want to come off too negative or too cons uh, 
conspiratorial, conspiracy theorist. Uh, what's the phrase now? The um, aluminum hat uh, mode. Um, but it's like going through this, I kind of got angry because I look at something like Don Quixote and I think, oh man, what a bunch. It's like they, they purposely ensured that their people would accept resignation as the mature attitude to take as far as the evils of the world are concerned. Okay. So. And um, whereas the Anglican version is more just to press the heck out of everybody. Make it to, to the, the point where they so, become so uh, just so depressed that, that they're just not able to be assertive enough to actually do any <laughs> do anything to counter whatever it is that you know uh, policies are being enforced. Spain is a lot more bloodthirsty. They they basically go to your get in your face and say, you know what? If you can't find a way to work through it or work around it, we're just gonna kill you. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. Um, we're just gonna discredit you. Okay, we're just gonna kind of thing. So yeah, it's getting that way now, but. Whatever. Yeah, we're kind of uh, we're kind of en envying old Spain there, aren't we? Okay. But anyway, I would not recommend most of these books. I mean, it's hard as a kid because. you are living someone else's life and I would say there is value in that to being able to empathize right that's a skill that you develop it's not something that just happens so there's that developing empathy good thing uh, having the experience of many, many lives. Okay, that's not a bad thing. Uh, but at the same time, I wouldn't recommend this for an adult because it really becomes self-indulgent at a certain point. Yeah, it's, a, it's a weird balance. But, uh, Okay, maybe not for a kid, I wouldn't say this, but for if you're an adult, most of those books, don't read them. Don't do it, because there, there's a lot of BS and a lot of misery and a lot of evil and a lot of things that should not, that we should not become resigned to. So, and if you're exposed to that many, I can see someone becoming very resigned to the uh, shortcomings of humanity, right? Very overwhelmed just by the mass number of it. Uh -huh. so. There is something to be said for innocence. So, maybe not too much. It becomes stupidity after a while, but whatever. Here's another balance, right? And one does become callousness, right? Resignation and callousness. So, it's a weird balance. Uh, 
but there are some things. I think the most negative being Oliver Twist on my list, but it's such a damn good story. And it covers so much. And I can never bring myself to say don't read it. It's okay. It covers a lot. It's a damn good story. Um, and although the there are tragedies as you reach the end of the story, it does have a good ending. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking about the the musical <laughs> Oliver. So uh, it's been a while. Maybe I should read it before I comment too much on it. Reread it, okay? Because a lot of these things I haven't picked up in years. But uh, just the general impression that it still gives me when you have the title titles. Hillerman. Hillerman was not in the Gutenheim. Uh, sorry, Gutenheim, Gutenberg website, but it is in the library. I've had I have you know, downloaded it from the library. I've uh, also downloaded the audio from you know a few libraries. So those options are there, but it's not on the uh, Gutenberg website. Um, I'm trying to keep it free and something that has the audio option and even hopefully has a movie version just in case you want to get into it on that level if you're finding it challenging to just read through it and you just it's not connecting you know it's just the not enough meaning or context in it for you to really sink your teeth in. Maybe you ought to you know, watch the movie version first a couple of times. Then as you develop a little bit of interest, you can go to the whatever, I don't know, the book or audio. But it should have an audio just in case you do run out of patience or time as I have, but I know a lot of people still have lots of time to fill <coughs> looking for that um, project that may serve you in other ways. So, um, and really I found it also helps with exploring other foreign languages which has also been kind of a hobby with me uh, sometimes frivolous hobby but sometimes very reasonable and concrete reasons to to explore a certain language but anyway after going through the, the spark notes and the the, you know, the uh, Gutenberg thing and all that kind of stuff. Um, thinking about the library um, movie versions and all that. This combination is what I've come up with. Um, actually, the, the last two were uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey and uh, the Cain Mutiny Spark Notes, they were on Spark Notes uh, The Cain Mutiny was, by the way, a novel before it was a movie just in case you didn't know So 2001 uh, that's, uh, that's a movie if anybody's written a novelette based on it, I don't know, but whatever, that's a movie. 
I was just surprised SparkNotes had it and I said, oh, I'm going to get that. <laughs> I'm going to get that because darn it, I still don't understand that dang movie. So, yeah. I thought I'd just mention that. Okay, back to, uh, well, Inherit the Wind is actually a play. Started out as a play. They made a movie about it. Actually, they made a lot of movies about it. But, I mean, the, the fam real famous one is uh, Spencer Tracy, whatever. Okay. What else? What else? The author I had forgotten about, shame on me, H.G. Uh, Wells. Okay, he, you know, The Time Machine, which is like one of my favorite movies, the black and white version with the, and, um, War of the Worlds. I just watched that a couple of weeks ago on Hoopla. It's a, your library. Uh, you can probably, uh, if you have a library card, you probably have access to Hoopla. It's a streaming thing. You can watch movies for free and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. And uh, there's a lot of, I was surprised how many options War of the Worlds give you. I mean, they've made a... Uh, uh, graphic downloadable graphic novel from it. There's the ebook form, you've got the audio form, you know, more than one movie, tons of documentaries since <laughs> the uh, Orwell thing. I'm sure, well, just in case there's someone out there that doesn't know. Uh, an actor, uh, director, actor, uh, way back in the, um, gosh, when did he do that? Oh, Citizen Kane, okay, so we went this around the beginning of World War II, so, the, so it had to be early 30s when this happened, whatever. No, it just had, what am I talking about? He was a young, this was his first big, so it was uh, late 30s when this happened, mid 30s, late 30s, when uh, he did that radio show that caused such a incredible havoc. People thought it was real. Right? They, some people didn't realize it was a, a play, a dramatized you know, thing. So, yeah, invasion of, uh, of you know, planet Earth by space aliens kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, I'm sure you've heard some version of it, but that's, that's the one I'm talking about. Okay. But anyway, um, Twain, Jules Verne, Doyle, uh, Rawlings, Rawlings. She's actually, Spark Notes has her stuff. That surprised me. Good for them. Uh, yeah, they don't limit themselves to just classical literature, apparently, since, you know, 2001 and all these other stuff. Uh, Red Dwarf. Some of you may not know who, what that is. It's a sci-fi series. Uh, there are one or two books on it. So, let's see. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, Dune. couple of Asimov books too. Um, 
I robot being probably the biggest uh, and foundation thing uh, whatever so yeah uh, 20,000 leagues under the sea yeah uh, the, the guy was impressive I didn't realize how If nothing else, watch the movie. Okay. But yeah, listen to the book. <laughs> Do the audio if you don't want to read through it because that's. It's, he's, he's sharp. I didn't realize how. Yeah. Impressive. But I can see why it doesn't get as much uh, air time as, uh, like, Journey to the Center of the Earth or Around the World in 82. <laughs> Very. Very political, very controversial, and very right on. I mean, wow. He was this brilliant, brilliant guy. Okay, so, yeah. So what else? What else? Oh, Twain, really? I'm sorry if you're a real Twain enthusiast, I suppose I am too, but I, as far as a novel, Huckleberry Finn is I mean, the one that really, I, so I suppose Prince and the Pauper is okay, but really Huck Finn is the one that's going to hit us closer to home. Really. Anyway. Uh, Martian Chronicles. You know, I don't think I've ever read it. I've seen the, the television or movie version. Television. I don't know. Whatever. One of those versions. Now with Elon Musk uh, <laughs> doing his thing, I thought it became... It, now it's taken on new significance, so, you know, I might, if nothing else, get a, uh, watch the Hoopla version of something, any documentary they may have. That's Ray Bradbury, I don't know. Okay, what else? All right. Yeah, they're not too many. I threw stuff like uh, Frankenstein and Dracula in there just to mix it up a bit. Because as a kid, you know, you kind of think that stuff is cool. But <laughs> I have no idea what's cool, so I'm the biggest geek you're ever going to come. So, well, whatever. Anyway, I'm very old, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, uh, if I ever had a concept of what cool was, I'm... It's, I'm sure it's completely out of whack now. Uh, and Tolkien. Uh, not in a foreign language. It offers enough challenges in your own language, unless you're really into geology and geography because chances are you don't have too firm a grasp about the things they he gets into as it is without trying to read it in a different language stick to the sorcerer's stone <laughs> i'm saying this because that's the book i stick to when i when i'm trying to really push myself with another language so yeah with another language the only language I ha I know that I can actually do that is Spanish okay I mean I've tried with <laughs> I'm not even gonna mention what language I've tried doing that in uh, just let's say a uh, miserable failure okay so yeah So it's getting uh, way overly ambitious, but uh, 
Yeah, all languages are not the same, <laughs> okay, as far as how you approach learning it. Yeah, you I learned that the hard way. And again, that's uh, another good reason, even if you're not, if you don't have the time or patience or either to explore this kind of hobby uh, for your own language, using it to explore other languages can still be a, a workable option. It's, uh, it's fun. It gives you material to work with. You know, just to keep your motivation up. Uh, whatever. I know, I'm a geek. I know, I know. Misspent youth. What do you want from me? Alright, now, all the titles I've mentioned, with the exception of 2001 and the Kane Mutiny, I didn't bother, you know, going into that too much. Those just for the last two. Um, your library probably has the downloadable ebook and audio versions of it, and you can probably watch them. And they probably have a, some kind of movie adaptation to it. Just in case you uh, need to really, if if you're just completely unfamiliar with it and you just can't really get into it any other way, this uh, these titles give you a lot of options. Okay, what else? Do I miss anyone? Dune? Did I say that one out loud? I don't know. Okay, Sorcerer Stone. Uh, Tolkien, uh, only for your own language. <laughs> uh, Hillerman, Hillerman, did I? Okay, Hillerman is relatively modern. Tony Hillerman. I just haven't found any contemporary author that really, you know. Grabbed me by, <laughs> by, by, by the collar and kind of is, and gave me a good shake. I mean that uh, he's a good writer. Okay, but it depends on what you like. So if you're you know you're into spy novels or or mystery thriller things or you know horror stuff, then obviously something else is gonna motivate you. These titles are not going to have much meaning to you. So, I'm kind of boring and um, I guess old fashioned. So, I don't know. Okay. And I try to keep it positive because I've got enough things to deal with. Uh, I do not believe in exposing yourself to things that are going to drag you down. We have enough of that. Uh, at this point in our history, it's very self-indulgent, uh, especially if you're a grown-up. Okay, If you're a kid, you're still exploring so many things that I won't dismiss it on that level. But if you're a grown-up, you're definitely too damn self-indulgent if you're you know, actually exposing yourself the things just to, to get that extra twist of misery in there. I mean, good lord, we got enough of that. Okay. So if you like drinking and you like being miserable, don't take this advice. Yeah, well you might as well know now I'm, I'm pro prohibition. So if you want to get political, alright, so, alright, uh, yes, a very traditional progressive to be 
utterly political now, right? Okay. All right. It's a short list. Lots of ne lots of negative uh, titles out there. And now I look at it and I think, Don Quixote. These people are just, you know, it's just, it's so easy to be cynical now. I mean, it's just, as, as cynical as you are, I think you're still being too optimistic considering what, everything out there, but, yeah. No, but it's a short list. It's a, really a summer reading list. That's what I ended up creating. But again, it has an audio backup. Uh, oh my god, it's over 30 minutes. Boy, I do ramble. I didn't mean for this to be that long. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this thing down because Woo. Well, for one thing, I'll never be able to upload <laughs> this video. <laughs> oh my god. This video is never going to see the light of day. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. That's my list. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on. Before I sign out, it's probably some... Yes, my speech teacher would be very happy. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Summer reading list. Special project. Yeah, because we have no patience for the most part. Reading. Okay. Given the fact that reading isn't so commonplace anymore. I don't know. Audio backup. So I wanted to stress that. Okay, I stressed it. Uh, if time or patience runs out. Again, audio backup. All right. Just to make sure I got that point across. Uh, I don't know what this this story time with Auntie D. It does not seem plausible at this point. Uh, well, for one thing, I've run out of time, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, given the short list I've put together, it's certainly, I can certainly do the first chapter, last chapter thing, but uh, it's a short thing, but uh, again, I've run out of time already, and now I'm more focused on what is this turning into? Is this turning into just a, a, a story time thing? Is this turning into a, a homeschooling series or, or set of videos? Because frankly now it's getting to the point this is not this is not story time this is homeschooling. So yeah. I don't know. It's starting to feel more like homeschooling uh, how to's than story time. Uh, but again, I. Uh, uh, Pet Smart. Starting to give me more hours. Uh, the uh, Instacart thing is uh, settling in there. And uh, may have a, a, end up with another. So I don't, don't know how that's going to work out. So, uh, I'm trying to get a volunteer uh, uh, trying to volunteer to get some teaching experience, online teaching experience to the library. So this is like, hmm, no time. I've, I've actually run out of time. So, again, the story type thing? Mm, don't think so. Um, and this is someone that's old enough to actually have 
the patience, supposedly, to pull something off like this. I think it's just habits. I think even people that their childhood, they may have had the patience for this because that's what the, the level of patience they needed, but we've already been so spoiled with all these instantaneous little devices that it's, uh, I don't want to. <laughs> so, yeah, I really think the previous generation was going to be the last was the last literate generation so I don't know anyway that's my list um, you can hoopla this stuff get them you know movie version good titles and uh, don't be so negative it's too self-indulgent especially nowadays you know our, our current affairs are giving us more than enough of that kind of stuff you don't need additional add-ons okay that's it hold on 36 minutes I'm never gonna be able to upload this video all right I'm cutting it off talk to you later